All right, what's up guys? This is going to be a little video. Keep it pretty short and to the point. It's going to be how to load a cell in Starfield. So to briefly explain, a cell in Starfield is an area in the game that you could load and edit and modify or spawn stuff in. You can also create a cell. I just don't know how to do that in Starfield, but you, you could create a cell and make your own little map or world, whatever you want to do. But basically we're just going to be loading into a cell in Starfield and dropping an item going into a game and picking up that item it's super easy and this is probably the first thing you should do or learn when you open this program because it's very complicated this program is very complex and i spent maybe one week so far and i'm barely getting to like anything so first things first what you guys want to go over to do head over to steam make sure you got starfield fully downloaded and the creation kit fully downloaded on the same hard drive and i'll show you guys right here i have two hard drives or two solid states if you go right here this is the starfield directory right here you can see the exe for starfield and right here you can see the creation kit right there make sure they have to be in the same folder for this to work for xbox users um people who got xbox and pc i believe you have to you have do you have do you have to do some weird manipulation stuff it's it's low-key the same process it'll still work so after you got both of those downloaded the creation kit is like not that much before you even open the program you want to make sure you have the following specs right here they recommend over 32 gigs around uh you could i've been seeing in the discussions you could get away with 20 gigs at least because right off the bat when i launched this program Everything goes up to 20, 25. And I'll sh I could show you that in a second. But right here, I'm, I'm rocking 64 gigs. So I recommend you not to open this program, even if you have a, if you have less than 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, so after you verified your RAM, got everything downloaded, you want to go ahead and load up the creation kit. And we can just do that by clicking here. And I'll just open this right here and we can see if we can get that on the side so let's watch my ram go up in the process all right 13 gigs and it's going to get even worse when you open up the sale so right off the bat we have there we go so this is going to be your workspace right here and if you're familiar with editing software or music software workspace is very important that's how you become really efficient in your work so what you want to do is set up your workspace you want to hit the view at the top left and you want to click object window open a new one that's this right here we're going to need that and we're going to need a cell view too and you can also these tabs right here you could drag them around put them right here and you could just you know put it anywhere you want we have the cell window right here and I could put that over. I like to dock it like this. I like to have my files right here and I only use this window right here, but we're going to use this in the sake of the video. So for the sake of the video, we're going to have the object window right here, the cell view right here and the render view right here. And you spend 10, 20 minutes configuring this the way you want to. Um, this is just how I work. You know, it's all up to how you, how it's going to work for you. So, after you get that laid out, you want to head over to File, Data, and you want to load up Starfield.esm. We're not we're not going to be going over the other files on the list right here. Um, this right here is what I'm working on right now. I'll talk about that later. Um, so you want after you want, after you double click Starfield, you want to click OK, and it's going to take about at least two or three minutes to load. Wow, that took a while. I was low-key scared, to be honest with you. But, um, okay, right here we have 24 gigs in use. And we're going to be see we're gonna see where it goes when I load up an area of the map. All right, so right off the bat, if we go to cell view right here, this is where you can load in areas of maps. And you could literally load in sections of the map. So, for example, we're going to be using Aquila City. If I go, if I click interior right here, and I scroll down to... Kila, there's Cydonia, there's Mars, whatever, and there's plenty of other 
sections right here. You have temples and stuff like that. So we're gonna be loading the Kila City right here. And these are all the sales, I believe. I haven't clicked anything else really, but these two right here. These are all the sales and uh, I wanna say around Kila, but for this video say we're gonna be loading it into the town. So we're gonna click double, we're gonna double click City Aquila Code Plaza one and give that a minute and watch my RAM go up again, probably. All right, we're good. We're, we're, we're at a steady 26 gigs being used. Okay, we're all good over there. All right, we're all good. So as you can see right here is the map. And by the way, to move around in this window, it's gonna take some getting used to. To to move around on your mouse, you wanna click the middle one. You wanna hold it down to move like that. Hold it down to move like that. And to rotate, you wanna hold shift down, hold shift and move the mouse around like that. You'll see it ship right there. But if you look around, if you hold shift and look around, we got the whole section of the map. We got a little farm over there. Um, it, it doesn't load the cave way over there. Or the, yeah, it doesn't, the cave will be way over there. But it doesn't load that section. We have to load that ourselves. But as you can see, you can see everything right here. And we could just hold shift and look, rotate around. Now, we, that's, that's pretty much it of the tutorial. But I'm going to be going just a little bit further and showing you how to drop something in the map. And loading into our game for a second. So as you can see, we're going to go right here. Look around, we're going to go right here. We have rolling arms right here. And just for the tutorial, we're just going to be right here. We're going to drop a weapon right here. So if that was too much for you already, rewind the video and go back and then look at what I did because it took me like a day just to learn how to do that. So this is our, our object window right here where we can spawn stuff in and edit stuff and add stuff, do all kinds of crazy stuff in right here. And then we're gonna scroll all the way up. I'm gonna um, close everything down. And this, we're okay, we're gonna go all the way up. We're gonna look for items. We're gonna drop a weapon down, weapon. And this are all your weapons right here that you could drop and use. We're gonna, we're gonna drop, um, let's say this, we're gonna drop three guns. So we're gonna drop the sniper right here. All right. If you hold shift, it rotates around the gun, which is pretty cool. So uh, we drop, all you gotta do is click it and drag it over here and let go and it, you dropped it in there. So if you, if you zoom in, if you zoom in the guns in the ground, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press E. And you can see right here, you have the, um, I forgot what this is called, but you could shift it that way. You could go up right there. We're just gonna drag it up the blue arrows to go up and leave like that for a second. And we're gonna drag another gun in for the videos. I'm gonna drag this in right here. And we're gonna press E and we're gonna drag it up a little bit. And what you could do is I could just leave it like this just for the video, but I'm gonna take a little further and I'm gonna show you guys some cool, something really cool right now. So these guys are floating. When you load into the game, they're gonna be floating as well. If you want it to drop or be on the ground when you're in the game, you head over here to the top corner, run Havoc Simulator. Okay, I, I don't know why I had, it did, did that, but there we go. The running Havoc Simulator, it dropped to the floor already. And let's put it on the ground. So. Last thing we want to do is we want to want to hit over here top left, save. You could name this to uh, anything. We're gonna name this tutorial video test, and I'm gonna save that. Right, hit and then close it out, and then we're gonna launch Starfield now. All right.
All right, so now that we have the game loading up, we want to go to creations right here. And I'll give it a second to load. We're gonna wanna click, I'm gonna use an Xbox controller, but you wanna click at the bottom left, you wanna click, usually, it, there we go. Load order right there at the bottom. I'm gonna deselect that, that's something I'm working on. And I'm gonna click this. Make sure wherever you saved, wherever you named, save. Click it right there, hit back back and it's going to say change game load reload your data files okay and then we're going to load to Aquila city mind you, you could load it you could look up wherever you are at in the game and drop it there but for the video we're going to be in Aquila city so i'm going to load right here in Aquila city and then give it a second it's loading the mod files uh yeah i might as well just load that but All right, so now that we're loaded into the game, if we look, you can see the weapons that I dropped right here in the ground. I can pick them up. They work, oh, I have no ammo for this gun. But they work just Aquila City's really pretty the cool. Heart of the Free Star Collective. And if I click this one up as well, this one just works just fine. What is it, did you see something? And yeah, that's super, some super easy, super simple. Um, that I think that you could do as well. And we're gonna just Alt F4. I'm not gonna say none of that. And that's pretty much it for the video. So it's super super simple. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, comment if you want to see any other tutorials. I'm still learning the kit. I got just a little bit of stuff down, but it's really complicated. But comment below if you like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.